How are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look where I've got. I seen these on my Instagram account and I thought I'm going to have to try these. I'm going to have to get them. Heinz tomato ketchup filled hash browns. <laughs> look at them. A oh, little... Um, Traffic light system for the nutrition. Vegetarian. Um, 600 grams. And there is the um, serving suggestion. So I have to say a special shout to Sheila. Um, what a lovely woman. Uh, I was in Iceland this afternoon and she came up to me. She watches the channel and she put a smile on my face. What a lovely, lovely woman. And uh, I was like um, a personal shopper. And it's what she was after, they didn't have, and it was my fault. But um, it was lovely meeting you, Sheila. It really was. So these were three pounds. Now I've done Heinz, um, uh, what were they, Heinz beans hash browns. And I've done the Heinz beans pizza. So this has got a following line, hasn't it? So let's take a look at the packaging. So the serving suggestions are in a bit of a, in a bit of a doubt. It's what with some have it with some um, tomato and mushrooms. <laughs> um, I have it with a load of well, I was going to say have it with a load of chips, but it is it is potato, isn't it? <laughs> Still have it with chips. Um, so there's some nutritional information. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. They are the ingredients there. Potatoes, 63%. Allergy, uh, allergen is celery in there. Heinz tomato ketchup, 20%. <laughs> Allergy advice. Um, for allergen, see underlined in bold. Also may contain barley, egg, milk, sesame seeds, soya, spelt and wheat. Suitable for vegetarians, which we covered. Uh, they are the ways to cook. You can do them in the oven, or you can do them in your air fryer. Um, or you can deep fry them. Ooh, I bet deep fried they're good. Caution, filling may be hot. Mmm. Yeah. Right, let's get these open and see. Let's have a look at them. So these are a massive gimmick, aren't they? I mean, <clears throat> hash browns with tomato ketchup inside. <laughs> Um, so can we get them open? Is it a tab system? Uh, I think we might. No, we can't. Really. So I've got a knife. So that's what I'll do. Always away with a knife. <laughs> there they are. They're just the same as the the Heinz beans ones. They're just the same. Um, and I've reviewed them as well. I've, I've got a ha um, an Iceland playlist, and. Um, I will put a link in the description to that if you want to to see that. Yeah. So there's the there there they are in the bag. Six hundred grams. So as you can see, I've done mine in the air fryer. I'm doing them in the air fryer. I've got them on the air crisp setting for twelve minutes at two hundred degrees. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. That would be great. Thank you. And uh, I'll bring you back in a bit. Closer inspection at the same suggestion. Now, I wonder if that's um, as part of a, a fry-up. Would you have these with a fry-up? Hmm. Now, there's a question. In all the excitement, I forgot to read this out. A little bit of spiel here. Heinz tomato ketchup filled hash browns, formed shredded potato and dried potato shell with Heinz tomato ketchup filling, pre-fried in rapeseed oil. They're done. And there they are. Yeah. Not massively crispy, but... Yeah, they are on that side. It says turn them over halfway as well, which I did. 
let's get one cut in half and have a look. Making something, you know, all you can, all you need to do is get some hash browns and then just stick a load of ketchup over the top of them. <laughs> look at that, the, the, the gimmick. We they're a bit hot. So I'm gonna chop that a bit more. It's just splurted out there. Look, I'm gonna get them cut it, cut up so they'll cool down. Yeah, they're nice and crispy there. It does say warning the contents are hot. There's your there's your tomato ketchup. All right, I'm gonna give them a minute or two and then I'm gonna get into them. So let's try these. I've, um, I've, I've took some, my, my nippers and my wife's in. So they're trying the uh, the others, see what they think. I'll get into that one because a good bit of ketchup splodged out the side. Yeah. Ah. Still steam coming off it. I'm stalling here. Um, They're, they're crunchy on the outside. They're quite sweet as well. Um, there was quite a lot of sauce in that one. I'll get into that one. Mmm. Mmm. Not quite nice then. You're getting the crunchiness on the outside and the sweetness coming from the ketchup. They're well seasoned. The potato inside is nice and soft and fluffy. Mmm. They're quite good. I quite like them. I do. <laughs> I was having my reservations when I seen fried in rapeseed oil because I did some Cathedral City hash browns, cheesy hash browns. And they just didn't taste right. The, the the fat that they fried them in, it just wasn't, it just wasn't right. And I was thinking oh, these could be the same, but they're not. The the they're pretty the pretty tasty. Mmm. Wipe it on my pants here. Yeah, I mean. It, you can buy, buy, buy your own hash browns, can't you? And just get some, your own, whatever ketchup you like and just spray it all over the top. It's just exactly the same. But these Heinz have just put the ketchup in the middle. <laughs> They're one of these things that you try once, don't you? And then you don't bother again. As on a lot of things in life. It seems to be the way with me with the food reviews and I never really, I never buy it again really. Never buy anything really again because I'm just trying food all the time. Constantly trying new food every single day. I don't really, I just, I just, don't, I just don't buy it again. I can't, I can't think of anything really that I've sort of gone, oh I'm going to try that again. I know I do sell my reviews, would I buy it again? Yeah, I would buy it again, but I'm just letting you know that, that if I wasn't doing these reviews, I would buy it again. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, I've eaten them. Yeah, they were, they were okay, they were okay, they were okay. They're, they're probably the best, best out of the bunch I've had. They're better than the, the Heinz beans hash browns and the Heinz beans pizza. I've done them from Iceland. Like I say, they'll be um, in my Iceland playlist, which I will put at the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Thank you for all the comments. Um, please keep them coming in. Let me know your thoughts on these. Like I say, I am on um, Instagram um, and Facebook. I might as well plug myself while I'm here. 
with the same title as these as this channel ball foodie guy um yeah I w would i buy them again <laughs> um well you can make your own can't you let's just get some get some cheap hash browns some tasty cheap hash browns or you can even make make your own hash browns if you want and uh stick your own desired ketchup of your choice on them obviously but we've got to try these gimmicks we've got to try them the new and people want to know what they're like <laughs> so take care all the best i'll catch up the next one